What's up guys, this is Kaushik Holla for Randomness Overloaded. In this video, I'll be talking about end-to-end -end encryptions and what made us to go to end-to-end -end encryptions and how actually does it work. Consider a classic example of Alice and Bob and Alice wants to communicate with Bob and this communication always takes place through a server. First Alice sends a message to the server and this message is saved at the server and then sent to Bob. The main drawback of this method is that if a third person or a hacker who is interested in the messages being sent from Alice to Bob taps in the communication line between Alice and server and gets to know all the messages that is being sent from Alice to server. To avoid this, a more secure form of communication was introduced where Alice first encrypts the message and then sends it to the server. In this way, if the hacker tries to hack the communication line between Alice and server, won't get to know the message that is being sent from Alice to server. And the message, once it arrives at the server, is decrypted and saved at the server. And this message is again encrypted and sent to Bob. In this way, the message is transferred from Alice to Bob. But the main drawback of this method is that a person who is working at the server gets to know the message that is being sent from Alice to Bob as the messages are decrypted and saved at the server. And since the hacker cannot tap the communication line between Alice and server, now he can directly hack the server and get to know the communication happening between Alice and Bob. To avoid this drawback, end-to-end -end encryption was introduced, where the message is first encrypted by Alice and then sent to server. Here the message is not decrypted and saved at the server, instead this message is forwarded directly to Bob. With this, the main advantage is that the hacker, if he hacks the communication line between Alice and server, won't get to know what message is being sent from Alice to server. And also, if he hacks the server, he won't get to know what message is being sent from Alice to Bob because the messages are not saved at the server. And the person who is working at the server won't get to know what message is being sent since the messages are not decrypted and saved at the server. Hence, end-to-end -end encryption eliminates all the drawbacks which existed in the previous method. With the introduction of end-to-end -end encryptions, it doesn't mean that the system cannot be hacked. The hacking is mainly done at the end devices where the communicating medium at the end devices such as mobile phones are bugged and the conversations are recorded and sent to hacker. So the main form of protection in end-to-end -end encryption is by protecting your end devices. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching guys. If you like the video, please do like and share the video. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because I'll be coming up with new videos every week.